Cancer, this is Sean speaking from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the channel for new viewers and the Cyber Angels. I uh, thank you very much Cyber Angels for coming back and being so loyal and for sharing and liking the videos and giving the thumbs up and welcome to the new people. Please subscribe and hit the bell and choose all then you'll be notified when new videos are loaded up or when I go live. Okay, uh, you can find more information below the uh, this video in the description box or click on the little white uh, circle here and it will take you to the uh, websites. I'm using the Vice Versa deck today and I'm also using the Wildwood Tarot and the Spirit Animal Oracle deck and the Surrender deck. So it's quite an extensive reading and remember this is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you or all of it have a look at your um, moon sign or your rising sign. We begin with the six of wands. Here, um, here let's have a look. Here it can be quite difficult some like I said, Cancer, sometimes it's difficult to see what side is the right side. Now, usually I'm okay, and, and with this card I find it yeah, difficult because the dark side, and you've got the dark side and the light side to everybody. Here you, can, you can't see the people, and uh, here you can see the people. So this side is the negative side, and it's m sometimes much easier to remember but th this deck is really strange because sometimes the good side is uh, dark as well but in this case the dark side means that you have public recognition but you haven't done it by yourself okay uh, you should also give recognition and thanks and gratitude towards others otherwise um, discontent my, uh, might arise but not in this case and you had this card this way so you definitely have recognition from the public and from others you have victory because you've got the reef of victory so you are moving onwards and upwards you might be going on holiday or moving home with this card but victory is yours there could be a promotion okay or a reward coming in for you this is clarified with the three of stones the three of pentacles and the three of pentacles also means you're no longer the apprentice you're the qualified person in other words the winner victory also a card of recognition recognition from your tutor from your employer uh, from your parents, uh, your father or mother, who knows. So that would be <coughs> uh, on Monday the 11th. Then we have the Two of Swords. We all know the Two of Swords. You might have shut yourself off your heart and your solar plex. And this lady's got a blindfold on, as you can see and she does not see or cannot see what is happening in front of her so open up your ideas this is the blue uh, bluish mm, like the metal and uh, that stands for thoughts and then the red is the bloodline like life the practicalities so open up your heart it has to pump all the time and the heart also stands for love it also stands for passion so open up your heart so that you can have passion and be passionate and enjoy things. Let new ideas come into your head. Don't be up in your head. Don't go mulling around and around and around. Open up your mind to see and take off the blindfold to see what is in front of you and around you. Don't shut yourself off. So open your solar plex, let joy and love come in and also new ideas through observing what is happening um, around you. Then you've got the archer and that is a number seven as well. 
So that's number seven. The archer is the chariot in the Wildwood Tarot. So again, victory, champion, moving home, going on holiday, moving onwards. You're very strong-minded because the two horses, they go in, in the traditional deck. You've got the white and the black horse, and it means that you are very strong, perhaps strong in, tel uh, in telepathy, as there's usually no reins with the chariot. You are free. Here you can see two wolves or two bears, and he just dominates them with his thoughts. His thoughts are powerful. He communicates with the intuition of the animals. So, don't be blinded to your talents. Don't be blinded to your ideas. Move on. Be sharp, but open your heart and your solar plex. That's middle of the week. Then you have the Five of Swords. Don't make arguments. Don't fight. This is the card of fighting and war and disagreements. Don't disagree. Walk away from other people's drama. Okay, you've got enough on your plate because you are you're most probably going to be pulled one way or another way by other people because you've got this recognition. You've got this victory. Some people might be jealous of you and try to start to pick a fight. Don't let them pick a fight. Then you've got the Six of Arrows. The Six of Swords, and I think Gemini had that as well. You might be moving home or going on holiday. The same as with the Chariot. The same with the Six of Rods. So if you are, you're going to have a busy time and many hands make light work. You're moving away from rough waters to calmer waters. So you have a calmer time and they usually say there is there's calmness before um, the storm. There's calm before the storm. So take that as um, a, a warning. If you are moving home or if you are going on holiday, then make sure you've got the papers in order and everything is set in place and so that you can do this, do that, do that, and don't start panicking and get back into those rough waters. Organize, organize, that is what I'm hearing. You've got the Eight of Cups. You've got an Eight of Cups. You would like excitement. You want a new beginning. Perhaps you are already leaving because you're bored with the uh, old routine. But with this card, I always warn people, don't throw away old pair of shoes before you've got a new pair. Adventure will come to you because you have got new beginnings because you are moving forward and to other destinations, perhaps moving home or uh, on holiday. And we have the Queen of Arrows. The Queen of Swords. Ooh, you might be meeting a Gemini, a Libra, or um, an Aquarian. This is a Queen, okay? It, yeah, well, the cards usually, d uh, you know, they're not sexist, they're not racist or anything or discriminating. Um, this could be a man with a nurturing side, being a, a feminine side coming out this could be a lady because it is the queen but it could be also a man with a nurturing side you have to keep um, she is precise she uh, has to keep her emotions um, under control because she's the communicator she's got wisdom she could be a teacher she could be somebody in the judicial judicial system or municipalities you might be if you are moving home you might be signing papers um, for loans or getting the possession of the house so she might be an advocate she might be a banker she might be a jurist uh, she could be also a hairdresser you might want to look good before you go on holiday boom somebody that cuts or uh, is um, 
judicially acknowledged, okay, or schooled, okay, because the swords stand for communication, wisdom, and justice. She might even bring you an idea or news for your new start. Wow, that's why I said teacher knowledge. Something will become clear to you. Okay. The overall energy cancer is the ace of rods. So that could be a new job. Unexpected. This could be a hobby. This could be a new passion. And the passion could be with a Sagittarius, Aries or a Leo. There is action. There's definitely action. Remember, if you do have a, um, a, a, a passion with a, a fire sign, know their boundaries and also let them know your boundaries because you're gentler, you're nurturing type, you're loving and passion, passionate. Yes, they like passion, but passion doesn't last. So if you want something with durability and for long term, then take it step by step. Otherwise, you both get burned out. Now, we've got the fox here, and that is the Knight of Bows. That is the Knight of Wands. Bows are wands. Okay? So, when you get news from this knight, again, uh, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, then you have to act upon it directly. It could be to do with judicial situations, as you've got the Queen here. Uh, could be signing contracts, if it is a new job, or if it is a new house. Because he also stands for moving home. He's swift, and he takes ac action. He goes for what he wants. That's the overall energy. Okay. And... For the Animal Spirit or Spirit Animal Oracle card, you have the Otter. You are never alone. Like true friends, Otters nurture each other and express their affection through touch actions such as holding hands and giving hugs, offer re reassurance that we are never really alone and that we are always cherished. Otter spirit or has appeared to remind you to experience and express friendship in a tangible and even tactile way. Communicate with your voice, your facial expressions, your gestures and your actions because actions and gestures speak a thousand words, pictures as well. Letting your love express itself beyond just the words you speak. Otter spirit, spirit's message is that presence matters. So remember to be fully presented with those you care about. Helping them sense the, the love and affection and appreciation you have for them. Now is the time for a joyful celebration of love in your life. That expresses a friendship and companionship. Hug someone, touch their arm and simply look into their eyes. With your full attention saying, I care, you matter. Make time for friendship, Otter. Spirit promises that the moment you reach out, you will remember that you too have many who love and care about you. You are never alone. And you are always loved. Wow, that is true. Show your appreciation and your gratitude for true friends and family. They need it as much as you do. Remember that. Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself, Cancer. Let go 
of limiting ideas about yourself that ori originate from the past, then you can own your own power and soar into your life. There you go, beautiful. Yellow is the also the color of joy. Yeah. Archangel Jovio, he is present. There you go. Extra message. Okay, Cancer, I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Take care, and I hope to see you in the life, and if not, in the next video. Be blessed, stay safe, and please like and share. Ciao, ciao.